fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Here we go. Period number three is now underway. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Kings have ran into a hot goaltender. Listen, I really like their play, James, but they've got to fight to get to the inside of the ice. You can be on the perimeter. The goaltender's going to see everything. you got to pay the price and drive the paint. Takes the feed from the left side. The Kings move it ahead. Calgary's got the puck. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Anderson. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Kadri's going to the box for tripping. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And they get that puck down the ice. And he easily stops that one. Moore's got it across the line. Quick shot! And he comes up with a save! Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. From center, they get into the attacking area. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. LA's moving it along the wing. Quick feed to Byfield. Taken along the wall by Spitz. Los Angeles takes possession of the puck. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Byfield's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Shot! <laughs> just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Los Angeles has shifted the momentum here in the third, wouldn't you say, Cheryl? Definitely, James, and I expect that there'll be a lot of shots coming from everywhere and a lot of bodies in front trying to screen the goalie. Calgary's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Taken by Moore. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Moore's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. And he stopped that one. And it's a quick pass to Kaprikov. And he takes the pass. Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, a clutch save! Look at this attack here in the own zone! There's a collision! Back and forth, here they go in the offensive end! They've really turned it up a notch! And the team's got it here! Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. LA's moving it up the ice. The Flames have it now. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. They put the puck into the offensive end. Saucer pass across. Dubois got it along the wing. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the club save. Wow. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. The Flames win the draw. And he slides it quickly to Manjapani. And he takes the feed. Kuzmenko has been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively. And this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. If this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. Knocked away with the stick by Fiala. Quick pass to Sedora. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Sends it out front. And he denies that great opportunity there.
getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Calgary's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Flames gain control of the puck. People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of high-quality chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. Here's a chance! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. The Flames will play it from the corner. Tries to feed it over to Tanev. Shot! Lays out to get in front of that one. The Flames take it along the wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Sweeman. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Solid check to slow him down. And now it's over to Byfield. Puts it on net. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Markstrom's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's a 2-1 game. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. A big face out here inside the offensive end. Rosic gets won the draw here in their own zone. Sends it in on the attack. LA's gained possession along the boards. With possession along the wall. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Greer. The Flames take it from the side. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. Pinned up along the boards. Now over to Kellyev. Moves it to Moore. And he takes the dish. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. And there's the save. And now he moves it quickly to Greer. Well, if you want to be out there at the end of the game, you got to make smart decisions with the puck, and that's one right there, just electing to put the puck in deep, and Kate plays safe. And he keeps possession. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Inside of the final minute here in the third. And he's ridden off the puck. Angles it over to Kempe. Taken by Moore. Los Angeles plays it along the wing. Got to find a way to get back into this one as they trail the extra attackers on the ice. Quick shot off a stick. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Empty net. You've got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. An aggressive draw, something they've worked on in practice to look for the quick win with the extra attacker. Kopitar's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Icing is the call. We'll get a face-off at the other end. Extra attacker on the ice. Big face-off here coming up. LA's got it in the offensive zone. And he takes a shot. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. A complete team effort tonight. And as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got you into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press. Well, I certainly had a great time. And from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Thanks so much for spending your time with us here this evening. And we will see you at the next playoff game.